We begin with a look back at Sammy Davis Jr.'s career from Newsline's Steve Dunlop. This is one of the most famous marquees in the world. Some of the biggest names in show business have graced it at one time or another. When news of Sammy Davis Jr.'s death reached the Apollo Theater, the marquee seemed a fitting way to say goodbye. Goodbye to the Golden Boy. I'll do something. All right, honey. Come on, step down here. Sammy Davis Jr. was born here in Harlem on December 8, 1925. He started dancing at the age of one and a half. By the time he was four, his father and his uncle were passing him off as a 44-year-old midget. It was the only way they could get around the child labor laws. Everybody was wondering how old was Sammy Davis. And this oh, he might be 40. Where he's dancing, he could be 89. As much knowledge as he has. Sandman Sims is a dancing legend. At 72, he still performs at the Apollo. As a young man, he took Sammy Davis Jr. under his wing. They couldn't get him to do as much dance as they wanted him to, so they paid me a dollar and a half a week. It was a lot of money then to go back there and entertain him dancing, make him dance. So he told me, he says, I know what they did. He says, we're going to take the money and spend it. I'm going to show you how to talk on the stage, and you're going to help me with my dance. We're going to do each other in. And that's what we did. Now, if it don't be for Sammy Davis, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing today. How's that? He's, the, he's my inspiration. This is the greatest showman I've ever seen in my life. In 1947, Davis got his first big break. This man hired him. He should be remembered as one of the finest human beings I ever knew in my life. And, of course, multi-talented. He was a wonderful, wonderful boy. Frank Sinatra got Sammy's Will Maston Trio as his opening act at the Capitol Theater. It set this talented young man on the road to stardom. It was a world controlled by the white man, but Davis was no one's lackey. He insisted on integrated audiences where he performed, and he helped knock down racial barriers in theaters all over the country. He also became famous for a level of generosity rare in the entertainment industry. Radio and television host Hal Jackson. I guess it was about two or three days before Christmas once that he was out there just spending a lot of time going into many of the poor areas, just giving out toys and things as a person, not as Mr. Big Shot Sammy Davis. He hated that, you know, being made over too much, but he always reached out to help a lot of little people. A beautiful man. But the beautiful man had a wild side. In the 1950s, Sammy Davis was part of Hollywood's Rat Pack with the likes of Sinatra, Jerry Lewis, and Joey Bishop. In the 60s, he threw legendary parties. By the 70s, he had a drug and alcohol problem. And in the 80s, liver failure nearly killed him. In worn out shoes. Sammy Davis Jr. last year spoke with Maury Povich. They had the lance in my stomach, and the guy said, they put the tube in, he said, if it comes out cloudy, he said, that's it, son. And I went, what do you mean, that's it? He said, well, if it's clear, he said, it can re it'll revitalize itself. He said, if you stop, he said, if it's cloudy, he said, then it's too late. Is that when you really think your life changed? Well, let me put it this way. It, it did about 180 at that point. Because you suddenly say, please, if I get another shot at this thing. Last November, the entertainment world honored Sammy Davis Jr. on the occasion of his 60th year in show business. Right to the end, he kept busy. Only last year, Sammy Davis appeared in the hit movie, Tap. And right alongside him, his mentor, Sandman Sims. You know what this young man said? We ain't got no legs. That means I ain't got no legs, you ain't got no legs, and them men in there ain't got no legs. Now, what does that sound like to you? A challenge. Just manage more, you got to down. On the same stage with this man here? <laughs> You couldn't give me a crown no bigger than that. I know wherever he's right now, he's still the greatest, Sammy Davis. And I'm going to be there with him one of these days. <laughs>